me Kat and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time seeing my face, hi my name is Kat Steele and this is my second channel. It's my vlog channel, my lifestyle channel, my everybody say it, trash channel. I have a main channel where I talk about musical theater even more. If you want more musical theater you should check that out but today we're bringing musical theater to the second channel because I've been getting a lot of questions over the last couple days on like the same two topics so I thought hey let's make a musical. What? Let's make a video about it. Ah, my brain hurts. So today we're going to be talking about my thoughts on the Tony Awards and Colleen making her Broadway debut. Questions of the day. What are your thoughts on these topics? Did you love the Tony Awards? Are you psyched for Colleen? Do you think this year was a little off? Let me know in the comments down below. So for the Tony Awards, awards wise, Everyone who I thought was going to win won. Like none of the awards surprised me. Everything was exactly what I thought it was going to be. The one thing that I thought might have been different was that Beetlejuice might have won for set design, but I also knew that Hades Town was a very strong contender to win that as well, which they did. Ali Stroker, I love her. I was so happy for her. She was probably the person and the performance that I was most invested in this season, and I am so happy she won. She deserved it entirely. I cried. When she won. I cried. Again, Stephanie J. Block and Santino are both like such fan favorites and I don't think either of them had won a Tony that it was just like it's time for you guys to win the Tony. I am interested to see how Tootsie is going to do because I didn't see Tootsie. I don't know the movie. I just know the controversy surrounding it. So I'm interested to see what's gonna happen there. Again, it's not something that I know super well and I haven't even seen the show. So I feel like it's not really something that I can speak on, but I'm interested to see how that's gonna keep going. I don't know if you guys were watching the telecast, but there was kind of a big controversy. Michael in the bathroom from Be More Chill was performed on the telecast like a parody of it where James Corden, Sarah Bareilles, and Josh Groban sang their own version of the song and it was very funny, very cute. Unfortunately, no one credited or shouted out Be More Chill or Joe Iconis or George Salazar. Joe Iconis did not know that that was gonna happen. The Tony Awards were not too kind to Be More Chill in terms of nominations, so I thought it was very weird that they used their song and then didn't credit them. That was very unfortunate, especially for, you know, a, a show that kind of has a very grassroots roots feel. It would be really incredible for Be More Chill to get a shout out on that huge telecast. Joe Iconis had a really classy response to it to kind of let people know what was going on, but he wasn't like angry about it. He was just very, very respectful. James Corden did retweet that. A lot of outlets have retweeted it. I was going to retweet it, but by the time I found everything, it had already kind of been resolved. A lot of people are now calling that James Corden has to have Joe Iconis and George Salazar on his show to perform. I would love that. I think that would be so cool. However, it's not really up to James to the best of my knowledge it's probably up to his producers and showrunners and an oversight on the Tony Award writers shouldn't really result in James Corden you know potentially losing out business those performances on late night shows are big money, big decisions, and probably not up to James. That being said, I don't really watch his show, so maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he does have a lot of creative control, in which case that would be super dope. Aside from that, I thought the telecast was fun. There was a lot of weird cuts and sound issues going on, so I don't know who was like live technical directing that from a TV standpoint, but that was a little weird and a little messy. I thought the telecast was cute. I would have liked a little more writing, I think. I have a very strong feeling that in the next couple years Lin-Manuel is probably gonna host. Who do you guys want to see host the Tony Awards? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to be a red carpet correspondent. Like that is a dream job for me. Just in general, like I love being a host. That's what I do as my day job. I host like a really fun show and I would love the chance to do red carpet interviews, especially for the Tony Awards. The Tony Award red carpet just started a few years ago and I'd really, really love to be a red carpet correspondent for that. So maybe someday. Or just to go to the Tonys. Honestly, I just want to go. Colleen is making her Broadway debut in Waitress. She's going to be playing New Dawn Rising, and I'm really excited. Growing up, I was not really in the Miranda group. I had seen a couple of her videos. She was the very first version of Christmas Lullaby from Songs for a New World that I ever heard, and I adore that song, so I always associate that with her. I'm very much in the mindset that any way you can get butts in seats in the theater, I am happy. Colleen 
Halloween has a massive following, a lot of people who might not watch a Broadway musical unless she was in it. I love Waitress, one of my favorite indie films, one of my favorite musicals. I don't really know Colleen, I don't really know her as a performer now. I've heard her sing some other stuff too since Christmas Lullaby, and she has a lovely voice, great tone. I think she's very creative, I admire her success, I just don't really know her, but I really hope she does a great job because that would be awesome. I'm interested to see her as Dawn because she's not who I would think of as Dawn. Like I'd honestly see her more as a Jenna, but she also has like a very inherently comedic air about her. I don't know, she just reads a lot more, I guess, mature than a lot of the Dawns that I've seen and know of. Anywho, very excited for her. Yay theater. So those are my thoughts on those two very different things that have recently happened that you guys wanted to hear about, but I don't think I had enough material to do a full video on. Isn't that a nice title for this video? Again, let me know what you guys think about these things in the comments down below because I'm really curious. This has been an exciting topic and a very interesting, very geeky theater kid time, so I'd love to hear what you guys have to say on it. I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you so, so much. Break a leg, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!